Um, I'm going to jump right to this because I think it's fun and I want to show it. Um, this is basically how to override UI component um, or, or any other control. Um, but the idea is I don't want to make my own uh, custom component and implement something that I want to implement. I want to implement that at the UI component level and have that just work in all the, the components in the framework. So I want to do a, I want to make a change at a base class and have it trickle down. And you can do that. Um, all you have to do is name a class mx.core.uiComponent. And it takes yours before it, it links yours in and not theirs. Um, so yeah, don't do this. It's like nasty. Um, you'll get in trouble with whoever is looking at your code because they'll be like, what the fuck? We can't like use this code ever again. So don't do it, but you can do some really cool stuff. Uh, <laughs> um, the, the link on the bottom there is a blog post. I, don't, I forget the guy's name, but uh, I, I read his blog and he, he discovered, I don't know if he discovered it, but I learned it there. Um, all these slides, by the way, are gonna be on my blog. Um, I'm gonna post a little embedded slide rocket thing with all my slides so you can go in there. What's that? There we go, thank you. Really? All right, there we go. That's much better. Um, so I don't have to invent wrong words. Um, So I made a component here for, for this demo that is a resize component, you know, like you would have on an image. So you have resize handles. You can drag them around um, just to resize a UI component. Um, one way to use that is that it's a container so you could wrap uh, it around an image or whatever. If I run this, you'll see the component. So this is the component. It adds these resize handles. It does a tool tip. Um, it resizes all that good stuff, right? Um, it allows you to drag and resize. So that's cool, great component, but what would be really cool is if I could just have that work on existing components. Um, what time do I end? 10 minutes, okay. So um, the cool thing that you can then do is, so in this case, I have a component here uh, all the stuff is, is within here. These are the classes that do the whole resizing container. Um, what you can do is you can have a class in your project called mx.core.uiComponent. Now, what I've done here is I've copy and pasted the, the real framework UI component into here. I actually have a Flex 2 or a Flex 3 version depending on which SDK you want to compile against. Um, so, this is just a copy paste version of UI component. And then my UI component doesn't do that much, right? You can see it's only how many lines? 200 extra lines um, on top of you know, the base stuff. And what it does is it adds a resizable container to every single UI component, you know, any instance of a UI component, if a certain flag is set. So now I'm, I'm adding a couple setters uh, and where are they? Show resize handles. So I'm adding a property called show resize handles. That's going to trickle down to any UI component. That means in MXML, I can add show resize, show resize handles equals true onto any component. Um, I do that one and show drag bar. Those are the two extra components. And then if those are set, it adds the resizing component to the UI component. Um, there's a little tricky thing, which is that uh, if, if we're a container, we have to add the to raw children. Container has a property called raw children that, cre that contains all the like non, I don't even know how to say it, non-children children, if that makes sense. Like, right, the Chrome stuff, the stuff that doesn't count as a, you know, selected child or whatever. Um, so that's the one little weird thing is you, we check if we're a container. If we are, we add to uh, raw children. If not, we just add to ourself. Um, and what that allows me to do is this is now normal MXML classes. These, this is data grid and panel. Um, and 
And the cool thing here is I can do this. These are not normal uh, tags on UI component, but the compiler isn't going to throw an error. It's not going to give me code hinting. That actually doesn't work. It at least doesn't work yet. I was talking to David last night. Maybe that will work. Um, I don't think you're supposed to do this anyway. But, <laughs> but, but if I do that, I'll actually I'll add show resize handles onto the panel too. And when I run this, if I could run it, I shouldn't have. Yeah, there we go. Now these are normal framework classes that have that stuff added on. Um, and any, any class that I wanted, I could set those flags and it would just work. Um, I don't have to create a custom resizable panel. I don't have to do anything like that. It just trickles down. Um, and if I don't set those flags, the UI component, the subbed in UI component doesn't actually create the things. So it doesn't affect, it doesn't change UI components unless you explicitly set the flags. So you shouldn't have any like real issues. But again, like you're probably not going to want to do this in a real environment because I don't know, it, it's kind of, it's kind of nasty. Um, but it's, it's real cool, right? So now I can, now I can do all sorts of stuff. Um, and all I have to do is do show resize handles on any of them. And it just works. Um, so you can do like <laughs> thanks. 